Have you ever spent too much time in tending your code? Or thinking about correct indentation to make your code more readable? Or arguing with your colleagues regarding some pull request where you don't know how to intend your code properly? If you had these problems, then here is the solution for you. In this video, we will learn what is pretty and how it can help us to solve these problems. Hi, I am Alexander Koherhin from Monster Lessons Academy, where I am teaching you how to become a programmer or improve your skills of being a programmer. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and let's jump right into it. The first question, what problem do we have at all? The problem is that we need to intend our code manually, and all people are doing it differently, and all people have different opinions regarding the code and styling. And basically, we can of course do it by hands, but it is time consuming. And we have such solutions like for example linters. For example, yes, lint is the most popular linter for JavaScript, and you can also write rules there, so your code will be uh, properly fixed after you just run yes, lint. But the problem here is that you need to write all these rules or use uh, some predefined config. And the problem is here that there are two different things that ESLint is doing for us. First of all, we get coding errors or warnings, like regarding coding standards, which you have in your rules for your team, for example. And the second is styling errors. Basically, this is intendation brackets when you need to put your code on the second line, and so on. And basically, this part we can move out of ESLint, because basically there is no developer who cares about styling. It just should not look bad and it should be the same for every developer in the team. And we can solve this problem with Prettier. So let's check what is Prettier. So here is the official website Prettier.io and basically let's check what is it about. As you can see Prettier is optionated code formatter. And basically this means that you can't choose what code style you want to have. So it's not like ESLint where you have like thousands of rules and you need to configure how you want your code to look like. Basically here you just install Prettier, you spend not more than one minute to configure it and you are good to go. And it will just look somehow good and you can't control it at all. So let's check why I recommend Prettier and why you should start using it in your everyday programming. So basically the first point is obvious, it's optionated code formatter. So basically nobody can say how they want to format code, because it is just formatted somehow for everybody in a team. As you can see here, we have a lot of languages that Prettier supports. We have uh, the whole bunch of uh, front-end stuff like, for example, JavaScript, TypeScript, JSON, HTML, CSS, libraries like SCSS, Less, and so on. Also, it supports frameworks, for, for example, Vue and Angular. And we have a lot of community plugins. So basically, if you're using something like PHP or Ruby, you can also use Prettier there, which is quite nice. And the last point is the most important for me, because basically you stop thinking about intendation and styling. You f are fully focused on the code and you know that every time when you save your file, Prettier will style your config and your code will look exactly the same everywhere. So now let's look how to install Prettier on your machine and how it works at all. So let's jump here in the docs. And actually there is a playground. So basically if you want just to check how Prettier is working, you can jump here and see. On the left is your code and on the right is code which is Prettified. But of course we want to see it on the real example. So let's jump to the docs. And here on the left there are a lot of possibilities how we can install it. Of course you can use Prettier from console. Basically if you just need to run Prettier for all files in your project, then you are good to go. So here you can simply install it as a package. Here is usage. You can install Prettier and then run it. So here is prettier and then minus minus write means that you will override all files when you will run it. But basically it's not interesting for us because we want to use it inside your editor. So for us is the most interesting part here 
editors and editor integration. And when we click here, you can see that it is completely different for the editors. And basically the idea is that in any editor, you just install some plugin. For example, here is Visual Studio Code, like the most popular editor. And you can simply install here Prettier VS Code plugin. And after installing, you can run a Prettier Code formatter and then your code will be formatted. Also, when you will just save the file, your code will also be formatted. And here you can check in the repo if you have, for example, VS Code, how you can configure it additionally, exactly for Visual Studio Code. And basically, these packages exist for almost every editor. So, for example, I have Vim and I am using COC package and there is COC Prettier, which will help me to format my code on save. So, depends on your editor, you simply install Prettier and the next step is to configure it. So, let's look on my code. Here I have a project with just two files index.html, this is just plain HTML and main.js it is empty. And my editor already has support of Prettier and now we simply need to install a configuration file. So here on the left you can see configuration file. We just need to create any file with this extension. I prefer to use .prettierc. So let's create it now in the root of our project. So here is .prettierc and sorry I created a folder. So here is a file prettyrc. Let's open it and look on the basic configuration. So you can write a config like a JSON or JavaScript. I prefer JSON. And let's look on all configuration options that we have. As you can see, there are not that many rules here to configure. You can check them all. But basically, there are five rules that you can use and this is enough for any project. So let's check my config. As you can see, I pasted here the JSON object and these five rules is enough for Prettier to work for huge teams. So basically the first thing is tab width. This means that I want to have two spaces for indentation. The second is single quote, which means in the whole code I don't want to have double quotes but only single. The next one is print width. This is the maximum width of the line. So basically after 80 symbols, the code will be always predefined in multiple lines. The next one is break, uh, bracket spacing. This means that if you have some destruction, for example like this, you have here const and then the object, and for example you want to take from the object foo value a and value b also. Bracket spacing means uh, with false that you don't have any spaces inside. So it doesn't look like this, but it looks like this. The same thing will happen when, with any object. So you just create the variable a and this is an object and inside you have b which is string b. And you don't have any spaces here, so Prettier will remove them automatically. And the last point is semicolon. I am setting this to false because I don't use semicolons in JavaScript, but this is topic for another video. So basically if you use semicolons, just put it to true. Now let's restart the editor to make Prettier working with correct config. And now let's jump to our main JS. So our Prettier is already working and let's try to write some JavaScript. Let's say that we have here a variable a and it is a string. And let's try here double uh, quotes and here we're writing hello Prettier. And then we put at the end semicolon. And now see, I'm just saving the file and as you can see I don't have semicolon at the end and here I have only single quotes. Which basically means when I'm typing code I don't care what indentation is because I can write something like this. So this is for sure not a correct indentation. Then I just save the file and it is correctly intended. The same is the fu with functions. For example, you have some function get user and then just writing it in single line like this. And then inside I have something like return uh, bar. And then here I have console log. bar and then I just save this file. 
So this is for sure a string. Now we just save it. And as you can see, we have it in multiple lines. So we don't need to think at all about indentation when we are simply writing code. It can be in one line. Of course, normally you will type it like this to make it more readable. But you don't think at all about indentation or how to make it look beautiful. Basically, we just save it and it is prettified. Now you know how to simplify writing your code with Pretty. Basically it's enough to just install it in your editor and then provide the simple config. Then you simply write the code and everything is handled by Pretty itself. And you also don't need to discuss styling in your team because the whole code is prettified the same for every person. And if you want to learn more about programming, don't forget to check my courses down in the description box below. And if you like this video, don't forget to put thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I see you in the next video.